Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here in ICAST 2023 and I'm in the Z-Man booth. I wanna show you some of the new products that they came out with um, because they've got 16 new products varying anywhere from fishing rods to new swim baits to a brand new chatter bait. And uh, so I just wanted to kind of walk you guys through some of the baits that, that I think are standouts. So the very first one that I wanna talk about has got to be my favorite of all these new additions, and that is the Chatterbait Elite Evo. So this Chatterbait right here is phenomenal, man. I cannot wait to fish with this thing. Uh, you essentially you've got real realistic head patterns, um, real great uh, you know paint schemes. Uh, the eyes on this are a little bit bigger than the uh, than the jackhammer I noticed, which I, I actually like a lot. You know eyes can really activate you know that strike uh you know instinct with with the fish so uh i think that that's a actually a pretty big deal um they really paid a lot of attention to detail when it comes to like even the the size of the hole that connects the the chatter blade to the head um, they really tried a lot of different ones just so they could find the right one that that would have the most head to, to blade contact and and uh, and you know obviously uh, get the right type of vibration and also start vibrating like right away as soon as it hits, it hits the water they got a similar um, snap to the um, the jackhammer you can see here kind of that like I don't know egg shaped snap um, the blades themselves they come in plated painted like usual plus this new glitter finish which I think is going to be really cool and uh, they got 12 different colors in both um, 3 8 ounce and half ounce I'm going to show you guys the different colors they got real quick really really awesome colors that are proven to catch fish and some that you know they just kind of a new twist on some of the colors that you've seen with other ones uh other chatter baits um and they all the the this the evo actually also has a five aught hook which is really sharp but it has a a uh, trailer keeper system that's really unique so it's got two different trailer uh, keepers you've got the uh, lead one that's that's molded onto the the shank of the hook and then you got the wire one those combined man they they just really lock that that uh any trailer you know a Laztec or regular plastic locks it on there pretty good um they do the hand tied skirt um so that is uh you know you're you're never gonna have that rubber band fall apart or anything like that so it's gonna stay together even if you're catching pike so um overall the evo man it's pretty awesome um, but since we're talking about chatterbaits, another addition to the chatterbait system that they, they introduced this year is the chatter spike. This thing uh, is a really, really subtle trailer. Now, I've been using the, uh, the Razor Shads for the last several years. I love using the Razor Shads, uh, especially during like the springtime when I want a bait that if I'm yo-yoing the bait to, to kind of have this, this subtle glide to it, a little bit more of a glide than like a parachuting you know action with a, a swim bait tail like the uh, uh, diesel minnows um, the spike is a little bit more subtle it doesn't have any appendages at the end there um, it's got these specially segmented uh, segments here that that really uh, just move very fluidly with the the movement of the blade uh, and they even have these these little uh, V accents that create a little bit of turbulence to, to create a, even more action, to really activate those segments and, and have a nice fluid motion. So really cool new uh, trailer for the Chatterbait system. Uh, and it's made of Elastec, so it's gonna last a long time. So since we're here at this table, let's talk about some of the other ones. Got the new TRD Gobies. Um, this bait right here, I think it's 2.4 inches. Real nice little little compact uh, package here, and uh, so I think that one's going to be really good uh, for you know fishing up north especially, but really anywhere where you're you're looking to to imitate something that lives on the bottom. Um, you know, the, it, it's supposed to imitate a goby, but it can imitate a lot of different things. So it's got a nice, real subtle swimming action on there, on that rounded tail, and I think that's going to be an awesome one. Uh, the Gobius. This bait right here, 
is gonna be really cool too. Another Gobi imitation that can do a lot of different things. It's internally weighted uh, and, it's, uh, it, it, and it's got this nice kind of horizontal glide. So you lift it up and it, it wants to kind of glide like this. Um, so gonna be actually pretty good in brush piles as well as you know open ro water, rocky areas, you know wherever you want to throw this thing, especially up north for smallmouth, um, this thing's gonna work very very well. It's got a, um, a a hook that is protected by that dorsal fin, but the cool thing about this bait is the fact that um, that one on hook, it's got a medium wire. That one on hook, you know, with traditional plastics. Um, your hooking percentage is a tough sell, you know, because because you got a lot of plastic, and you got a very small hook. With a Laztec, number one, a Laztec is super compressible, so it, it, it you get a lot more of that gap that exposes itself on the hook set. But it also has a super super deep uh, hook slot that allows that that bait to or that hook to really get a lot of room, so you can get a lot of that 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 hook into that fish. So Gobius is gonna be really cool. I'm really excited to throw it up north. I wish I had some for the St. Lawrence next week, but um, maybe next year, maybe next year, definitely next year. Um, the last one I see here at the table that I wanted to show you is the Gremlin. So B-Lat, you guys know Brian Latimer. Um, he designed an, uh, helped design another bait and that is the, the, the Gremlin. This is gonna be a great flipping bait. Um, but also like Carolina rig bait. This is gonna be a killer Carolina rig bait. Um, it's got these these nice little uh, subtle swimming appendages. Let's actually see if we can find one on a rod. No promises. No, I don't see one there. Well, I was trying to show you one on the rod, but I can't find one. Um, but. Uh, it's got a nice swimming action, but the cool thing is like, you can go ahead and cut those off and you've got these like crawl like, these claw like um, thick appendages that are attached to them um, that, that essentially, you know, will make this a perfect little streamlined punching bait. So you, you cut off those thin curl tails and what you're left is those, those nice, uh, you know, thick, claw like uh, uh, appendages that uh, that I think makes it a better punching bait. You want a punching bait that, that will actually be very, very compact. It uh, ends up, you know, not hanging on anything, you know, which the small, thin appendages, they can hang on something, just slow down the, 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 the fall through cover and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, really cool bait. Um, one thing that I noticed in the, in the tank, which I actually... Well, I can't really use that in the tank. But one thing I did notice in the tank is like when, when you put this in and it hits the bottom, there are a ton of bubbles that emit from this bait. And it's because they have a pretty aggressive uh, rib system here. So the, the water or uh, air bubbles will get stuck in the ribs and emit as soon as, you know, it hits the bottom. So that was something that was really cool. And they also, uh, ended up doing a special special formula that helps keep the hook point in this Elastec. So it's a special uh, you know Elastec formulation that has really helped uh, you know increase the ability of that hook to pull through the plastic, which a lot of people have an issue with. I don't know why because I don't have that issue fishing with EWG hooks, but you know for you guys out there that have had that concern or that issue before that should alleviate a lot of it. So this overall, they thought about this bait a lot and really tailored it to the Elastec material. Oops. All right. Oh, another bait right there. Obviously you guys recognize the, the Hellraiser from last year. Uh, the Hellraiser was introduced at ICAST last year. They had the bigger version. Now they've got the four inch Hellraiser which I think is gonna be a really, a really good size. I honestly like this size better. You know, just, I haven't, I haven't fished it yet, but just at a first glance, I'm like, that is going to be a really, really good size for this bait. Um, some more baits we got, you know, these are, these are part of the, the micro finesse system. Um, it, you've got the micro goat, you got the baby ballers. I honestly think that this will be pretty good on a, on a Demiki type deal, but we're gonna keep that secret. Uh, and then they got the micro shads heads. 
pretty cool little uh, jig head that works perfectly with these. So those are pretty awesome. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Hmm. I think we can go over here and find some more. No, we already talked about the Gobius and all those. Uh, what else we got? All right. This is one that I want to talk about. I actually did a, a, a specific video for this one, um, but this is actually intended as a saltwater bait, but 100%, I guarantee, this is going to crush it in bass fishing too. Um, this right here is the Moltron LT. This bait is obviously a, uh, a mullet imitation swim bait. Comes in some great colors. My favorite is the Mossy Back or Moss Back. That one right there is going to be great for bass. And, uh, and man, the cool thing about this, this bait is, number one, you got that, that proven wedge tail design. Uh, swims really, really good. It's made of elastic, so it's, it's durable. All those things are great. The hook, um, you know, the line through system on this is phenomenal, man. I'm really, really impressed. So essentially, you, you run your line through the nose run it through this cavity that they've designed and then you end up tying to this this uh this hook right here this single hook and the hook system you know this line through system really locks in that hook so it doesn't like want to go from side to side at all it stays perfectly straight up and kind of clicks in there like it, it it really does firmly like seat itself and uh and what that does is like when you set the hook on a bass line through allows the the bait to disconnect from the hook eliminating the leverage that that the fish has with the weight of the bait so uh, I I'm just super impressed with this bait and at first I was like eh, saltwater bait I don't really care um, but honestly since I've been looking at it I'm like I cannot wait to throw this thing and it also comes in the perfect sizes for bass fishing you got a six inch version and a four and a half inch version so looking forward to that. Honestly, my favorite colors, I'll show you. Uh, Glow Mullet looks pretty good. Um, this one, this one's like a very natural uh, mullet, silver mullet. And then this one right here, which is Mossback, this one's my absolute favorite for uh, bass applications. Um, just at first look, I have not thrown this, this bait yet. I've, I've worked it a little bit in the tank over there to see the, the action, the swimming action looks great. Uh, this one actually might work too. I like it because it's like, it's got chartreuse, you know, in it, but a very subtle chartreuse. It's almost like more like yellow. And a lot of, of fisheries have bait fish that have that kind of uh, yellow hue to it. So really excited about that. Um, but yeah, guys, those are, those are kind of the standouts for me here at iCast in the Z-Man booth. They've introduced a lot of stuff this year. So if you guys are interested, make sure you go to zmanfishing.com. And I know my, my buddies at 44tackle.com, they're going to have all this stuff very, very soon. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm going to see you out on the showroom floor and the water. See you guys.